Buying a home is not easy. It takes a lifetime of savings for many people to own a flat. Yet sadly, there are few builders who cheat innocent home buyers by resorting to various tricks. Now, it is very important to be aware of these things when you're on a lookout for your dream home because a lot of your hard-earned money is involved. So in this video, I'm going to bring forward one such example of a manipulation done in the bedroom by a builder and I'm going to show you how you can design it to circumvent the issue. So the bedroom I'm going to be talking about is a part of the same old 1BHK of a previous video in which I've shown how you can design your living room and convert it from a 1BHK to a 2BHK. In case you're interested, I'm just going to leave the link for it in the description. Uh, you may want to check it out if you're left wondering why the bedroom that we're going to design now may or may not have certain things. Now this bedroom is very small, but that should not restrain you from making the most out of it. But before we go ahead in the video, let me show you the builder's proposal for the bedroom. As you can see, the bed is placed against this wall and they have shown two side tables on either side. They've also shown a wardrobe in front of the bed with a passage in between the two. Now, I'm not going to name the builder here, but this plan has been gimmick to portray that all the bare essentials that one needs in the bedroom have been taken care of. But in truth, it has been very cleverly manipulated to push sales. In order for you to understand the manipulation and to arrive at a solution, you need to know about the mattress sizes available in India. So first, you have a single bed. The next size is a double bed which is 4 feet wide. As you can see, it's just a little larger than a single bed. It can definitely sleep too. However, many couples do find larger double beds more comfortable. And if you were to go by sleeping standards, then this bed is perfect for someone who likes to spread himself all over the bed. Or it can also afford two kids sleeping, which is why it's not a very popular double mattress size with many brands. The next size is the twin bed, which in my opinion is a very compact and justifiable size for sleeping too. This is one size smaller than what is typically called the queen size, which is followed by the king size. The depth of the mattress has three variations, 6 feet, 6 feet 3 inches and 6 feet 8 inches. Going forward in the video, I'm only going to be using a mattress size with the minimum depth of 6 feet. Now by the looks of the bedroom size, the idea of using a queen or a king size bed, let's just throw that out of the window. So obviously I'm going to select the most apt double bed size which is the twin bed and I'm going to place it against the same wall just like the builder has shown in the brochure. As you can see there is very little space on either side of the bed which is absolutely inadequate for moving around the bed and as for the side table, well, that seems like a faraway thought here. So, remember the not so popular double bed mattress size, which I personally don't recommend, but here we go and even with this, the moving space around the bed is below par, which in the builder's plan supposedly seems sufficient. And I just can't go anything smaller than this size because That'll just be going with a single bed and it'll absolutely kill the purpose of buying this home with the assumption that this bedroom would sleep too. So if you were to go by the plan that was sold to you, you've seen it for yourself that it's going to be very tight. Next, let's talk about the storage situation. Wardrobes that house hangers are typically two feet deep. You can see that the brochure plan shows a two feet wardrobe right in front of the bed. Let's simply replicate it. That leaves us with an unbelievable one feet wide passage. Now can someone really walk in this passage and access the wardrobe comfortably on a day to day basis? No way, you can check this for yourself at your home to be sure. This is when it hit me that this plan was very heavily manipulated. And let me show you how. They've taken the proportions of an actual double bed and simply scaled it down to show that there is enough circulation around the bed. 
as an interior designer i feel so upset looking at this plan because this illustration has most likely come from a fellow designer or probably an architect's office it's such a shame because on the basis of what's shown in this floor plan you'll happily make the purchase oblivious to the manipulation done by the architect for the benefit of the developer so i really want to offer a solution where the home buyer at least gets what he thought he would which is a comfortable sleeping space for two and sufficient storage space to do this we'll have to change the location of the bed so let's shift it against the window now the passage between the wardrobe and the bed has become wider in fact a larger bed which is a twin size is also possible but this particular bed location has its cons which is that one side of the bed gets blocked plus you obstruct the window view and you're not following any alignment with the window whatsoever plus it's not going to be very convenient to clean the part of the window which gets hidden behind the bed so i'm not a big fan of this bed location so we'll have to try another option for that let's chuck the wardrobe on this side and shift the bed against this wall now since this wall is obviously wider than the previous wall opposite it there's going to be sufficient circulation around the bed but the problem of introducing a wardrobe in front of the bed still remains to circumvent this issue you can place 2 feet deep wardrobes on either side of the bed the shutters can have mirrors on them this is just going to make the space feel larger and you can use it while dressing up as well you can also add some extra storage above the bed in between the two wardrobes This is just going to create a cocoon around the bed. I cannot stress this enough but wall cabinets need to be very firmly secured with appropriate wall anchoring systems or fasteners uh, to avoid any accidental detachment. Now, if you feel a considerable amount of wardrobe space is lost in this option, Hold on. A little later in the video, I'm going to show you how you can add ample storage to compensate for the loss. You could add a functional ledge over the bed which need not be very deep. I've taken a 9 inch deep ledge just for the sake of increasing the shelf space. Do not try to make it as deep as the wardrobe because that cocoon feeling that I mentioned earlier would be compromised. It may get claustrophobic. The space in front of the bed is 3 feet wide. One needs 2 feet for circulation. So you still have 1 feet which you can utilize for some extra storage by putting in some floor to ceiling shallow cabinets. For a clean look, you can opt for push to open shutters. However, the durability of push to open shutters is not as much, so you can rather go for some very cute minimalistic handles. treat the windows with roller blinds for privacy now for the finishes i didn't want the space to feel cluttered with storage all around the bed so i've limited the use of colors to the bed linen alone in fact i've matched the color of the wall with the cabinet shutters the wood on the bed and the niche adds warmth to the space i've given the same finish on the bed and the niche because i wanted the bed to feel like it has been carved out from that niche now this wood finish can either be veneer or laminate and the finish of the shutter cabinets could either be sewed finished laminate or it could also be pu coated mdf clad on ply 